Hello there, shark fans. If you recognize the machine in the middle, it's the one that Thomas donated to the lab during the last mini-meet. And I put a new motor in it, but it's still a motor that is, well, essentially relevant and matching to the old motor that I took out. This model is from 2017, and the motor I put in had a 2018 date code. Now, with these particular sharks, there's a whole lot of different measurements we could do. Um, brush roll on and off, filters in and out, and also the suction relief valve, or what does it say there? It says uh, suction control toward the top of the, the neck up there. And uh, it's, it would create so many numbers that I think everybody's you know eyes would glaze over. So let's try to keep it as simple as possible so I'm going to limit it to my standard um, four measurements that I do brush roll on and off filters in and out and I'll do one measurement that shows you the range of the suction control um, fully open and then fully closed and we'll just kind of leave it at that because otherwise it's just it's far too many measurements so let's kick it off and you know what I'll just turn everything on but I'm going to open up the valve so you're going to see a really low CFM number initially. So suction control is going to be wide open and here we go. Now I'm going to close the valve. Okay, so we did everything on brush roll spinning and you saw that it went from low 40s to low 70s with the valve open and closed. So now let's continue and the valve will be closed for all the other subsequent measurements. So let's see, I need to reset. There we go. So let's turn this on with the brush roll uh, not spinning, I guess. Let's see here. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. Brush roll is not spinning. Okay, tiny bit higher CFM, just, just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take all the filters out. I'm going to reset again. Of course, don't run your machine with the filters out. They're there for a reason. So here's this HEPA filter, it was unbelievably dirty, and let's see, this little, that'll snap in, and then there's two other foam type of filters, we got this one right here, and this other thinner white one right there. Okay, here we go. Made a little difference, didn't it? Now with the brush roll spinning.
Okay, so that was definitely a lot of measurements. Incidentally, there's a recently refurbed NV90 over there, and this is a brand new, I think it's an NV356 something or other, and this is completely brand new that Thomas unboxed during the last mini-me. You will see measurements with this sometime at a later date. Did you see that? Even though the exhaust is hot, 100 and, well, about 120 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, you can't get any better than triple zeros, four sets of triple zeros. And I haven't even given this the Persil soaking treatment either. I just kind of banged it out to get whatever you know carbon chunks I could possibly get out, and it's still performing that well. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go over all those numbers. 